name is Caroline Rakoswojciechowski and I'm a second year student at the George Washington University Graduate School of Education and Human Development. I'm part of their international education program and welcome to George Washington University. Today I'm going to take you on a campus tour, so let's check it out. This is Kogan Plaza. It's a very popular outdoor location in the heart of campus, located right next to the library. Students will often sit outside on these benches, at these tables, use it as a study space. You can just relax, study, or hang out with your friends. So next up, we're going to go on a tour of Gelman Library, which is located at the heart of George Washington's campus. It is the main campus library where students use it for things like studying, printing, they have a writing center, as well as other resources that are very convenient to use. I spend most of my time here because it is located very close to G-Shed. So after all the studying, you're hungry, conveniently located outside of Gelman, you have several options of food to choose from, from our food trucks. Welcome to Capitol Hill. I know it may seem a little weird being a tourist in your own city, especially if you're going to school here, but I say do it anyway. It's so much fun. There's so much rich history in DC. You've got Capitol Hill here. You've got the Library of Congress there, Supreme Court there. And honestly, it's just really cool to be this close to where all the action happens. So now, we're checking out the Washington Monument, super close to campus, as are most of these landmarks of DC. So if you have a chance, go check them out. Also near the campus are the World Bank, the White House. GW is right there in the action, so if you get to be a student at G-Shed, you have lots to look forward to. This is the National African American Museum. I visited this building on MLK Day with my roommates, and it was a really moving experience for me. So if you decide to come to G-Shed, where you will have your graduation is right over there on the National Mall next to the Washington Monument. And the backdrop that is right here, which you'll probably recognize, is the Lincoln Memorial. So if you're commuting from anywhere in DC, Virginia, Maryland, we have a metro station for the orange, silver, and blue line and it's really easy to reach and it brings you right to campus. When students need a break from studying, there are dozens of food options to choose from at Western Market. It has over a dozen vendors, like sushi, falafel, lobster rolls, and more, in addition to the food trucks that we just visited. Welcome to the GW University Student Center. At the Student Center, you can find a variety of resources that every student can use, such as IT help, finding resources for your ID card, or just hanging out with your friends. So if you need a quick lunch in between classes, Panera Bread in the Student Center is a very popular spot. And then surrounding Panera Bread is a ton of different study spaces and tables that students can utilize to do homework a little in between. So if you're a new student at GW, including a graduate student, you have to pick up your ID card at the G-World card office and it's conveniently also located next to the Student Services Hub, which is your go-to spot for student financial assistant, student accounts, and the registrar. And if you come from a military or a veteran background, you have your services also located on the ground level of the GW University Student Center. And what G-Shed experience would be complete without swag at the campus store? So Quigley's Pharmacy, or Tonica Quigley's, is one of my favorite spots to go to on campus. It's in a really central location, popular among the students because you can grab food, you can socialize, you can grab drinks after school or work. Well, that is a wrap for today's campus tour. Thank you so much for joining me today, and we hope to see you soon.